Hello everyone, I'm Chandra Mindbloom presenting you English news at you. First, I'll let you what we've got on the hotlines. Talk between state government and MU community cancelled. Invitation will be sent again if community desires, says Chief Minister N. Biren. And government to observe birth anniversary of Hicham Irabot from this year, asserts Chief Minister N. Biren. Now moving on to the news in detail. In the talk between state government and Manipur University community, which was supposed to be held at 10 a.m. today, was cancelled. The chief minister stated that invitation to hold talk will be sent again if the Manipur University community desires. The chief minister was speaking at the surgical strike day program held at first Manipur Rifles Banquet Hall today. He further maintained that following the statement of Muta president through a TV channel to solve the issue by holding a talk, the government sent an invitation to the agitators to hold talk by 10 this morning. However, representatives of Manipur University community did not turn up, instead sent a written letter stating some conditions which mention release of arrested teachers and students, withdrawal of FIR, removal of security forces from Manipur University campus and also to stop attempts of arresting teachers and students. The Chief Minister also said the FIR was registered by Pro-VC Yugindro and can be withdrawn only after holding dialogue with him. Besides, act imposed by the state government can also be withdrawn. The state will again send invitation if desired by Manipur University community. The Chief Minister appealed to the people to extend support in the government's step. Surgical Strike Day was observed to remember the might of the Indian Army and its contribution in the nation building. It commemorated the day when the Indian Army conducted surgical strikes in Pakistan, which had strategic ramifications. Ministers, MLA's Indian Army, CRPF and top officials of Manipur Police attended the celebration. Chief Minister said the observance is very important for India. The day spreads the message that even though India is a peace-loving country, challenges can be overcome at any time. Manipur too has been taking major role in Indian Army, even though it is a small state. The state has not only been able to produce two lieutenant generals, but has more than 300 officers in different forces. Narendra Modi's dream of one nation has been 80% successful. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joykumar lauded the role of Indian Army in safeguarding the country. He stated that he understands the law and order situation in Jammu and Kashmir as he himself was once posted there. He stated that Army plays a pivotal role in safeguarding the country. Major General of IGAR South P.K. Singh stated that on September 29, 2016, the Indian Army carried out surgical strikes on seven terrorist launch pads across the line of control in retaliation to an attack on its base in Uri earlier that month by a terrorist group sponsored by Pakistan on September 18, which killed 19 personals. He maintained that the surgical strike proved what Indian Army are capable of when the sovereignty of the country is challenged. P.K. Singh said the day was being observed all across the country to commemorate the historical event. He also expressed gratitude to government of Manipur for organizing the commemoration day. Chief Minister N. Biren has asserted that the government will observe the birth anniversary of Hicham Irabot on every September 30 from this year. The Chief Minister was addressing media persons at the launching event of Google Toilet Locator and a Swachta app at CM Secretariat today. Irabot. 
awang nampok Bharat itu kan mana pugi amat tengah riba lusing ba, hai nama ayam hai ni riba, adu bumi ayam na nationalisms, ramang jin thawa katok pada ramang jin thawa, sekarang balik dersi, na anggai state government na magi recognition toraga zaman tera bot ki magi Mapong nami sih dah suci, thapa, khodpa tu di tawe, adu katet, tapi NGOs magi lady bab, ira bab foundation adu ada nama celebration kaki, patok tu nih, maya am gue na, adu bah hendak cah hisi dekik, live tarik kuntra, orang ni hei yang si, nasi ki generation, amadi tunggi generation kaya ada, pidam ningai orang bab lusing bersih ki, sak pasuan bab, sing thapa, gitu thapa si, kerajaan nasi tau bab su mei hai na. Kan mereka lain na, hari yang degi ahu boi na, mana pun kerajaan na, magi function sih, kui side minar gimana ingat lagi riba, lampak tu deh dah, side minar gitu deh dah kui function kerajaan na function pak topa hari ni. Minister of Mahut Siam Kumar and other officials attended the event. Speaking on the two apps launched under Swatch Surveyction 2019, Nbiren said that the Google Toilet Locator app will easily help people in locating toilets in Imphal City. While the Swatch Star app, which help in finding areas with solid waste in Imphal municipality. He further said that people can take pictures of waste and upload it on the app, which will help the officials concerned of the municipality to clean up the waste. Google Toilet Locator is a mobile app. It's 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 a mobile app. Apa hang orang ke? Macam macam kita udah lihat tanah lebar kopi tu kumpa, tau berapa isi lo? Ina indikator tu mungkin dua ribu. Ya, amna sophisticated tu ibadu kumpa, makhluk ini, pon ini, lambi cepat pada kor pada, tu mungkin orang itu na. Swasta F isi na kemain tau kita kira kuki. Amur apa isi? Si ke F si singgara kana, matum da signal pirak kita ber. Si dah amur pola ideas, si dah amur pola ideas. F si dah tu mungkin orang municipal council kita tak aku ina report tak pihak anda. Kaya am tu na, hai riba. Amur pun sendiri sentuh ina tu bersih bukti aje. Madu suka kalkulator tu. 86 CRPF Battalion organized an exhibition of arms and ammunition for school students in connection with a second anniversary of surgical strike on its campus at Lumfeld today. CEO of the battalion spoke to the students on the role and service of security forces on the occasion. Those who want this uh, future of the country, they should know the, what the security forces are doing for the country, for their future, for their betterment in the life. So this is a good opportunity and a good synergy kind of thing between the new generation and the old generation like us. So that we can hand over the torch to the new generation. They can uh, go ahead with the country in a big way. That's why we organize this function. On the other hand, five JAK rifles, Suraj Gorkha, Tulihal Battalion, under nine sector awesome rifles, IGER South organized the second commemoration day of surgical strike at Little Thaw School on Kadim Road. The day has been marked to showcase the valor, courage and sacrifice of the Indian Army. They even started with a welcome song and traditional Manipuri folk song by the students. Weapon and equipment of the Indian Army were displayed for the 130 NCC cadets of 14 NCC Battalion info. It culminated with a video screening of surgical strikes carried out by Indian Army. Deputy IG of IGAR South, Colonel Operations 9 Sector Awesome Rifles, Commanding Officer of Tulihal Battalion, Principal of Little Thaw School, teaching and non-teaching staffs of the school and students attended the observance. Manipur Alliance for Child Rights conferred the MACR Child Rights Award 2018 to video journalist of Arstavin News Ningtho Kongcham Sanachauba. Governor Najma Hebdula and Health Minister L. Jantakuma handed over the award to Sanachauba at the 9th Children Culture Meet 2018 held at Tribal Research Institute Chingmeirong today.
एस पी चुराचांदपुर कबिब के एंड सेनापति एस पी एम प्रदीप सिंह वेर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंटेड विद द अवार्ड In the national and international news, a young Apple executive was shot dead by a Lucknow constable after he refused to stop his vehicle at a checkpoint in Komti Nagar extension in the wee hours of a Saturday. According to reports, Vivek Tiwari was driving home with his colleague Sana Khan after the launch of iPhone X Plus when he was intercepted by the cop at the checkpoint. Tiwari sped away and hit the bike rode by two other constables who then chased him and opened fire at him. Briefing reporters, Senior Superintendent of Police SSP Lucknow, Kalanidhi Naithani said, Constable Prasant Chaudhary has been booked under Section 302 murder of the Indian Penal Code. We have sufficient evidence against the constable. In their defense, the constables said that they sustained knee injuries after they were hit by the car. They opened fire when they saw Tiwari trying to reverse the car, the SSP said. When asked if this was an encounter, the SSP said this doesn't appear to be a pre-planned incident. Two constables have been detained and a special investigation team has been formed to probe the case. Demanding a CBI inquiry, Tiwari's brother Vishnu Sukla told, was he a terrorist that police shot at him? We choose Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath as our representative and want him to take cognizance of the incident. We also demand an unbiased CBI inquiry. A powerful earthquake of 7.5 magnitude rocked the Indonesian island of Sulawesi on Friday, triggering a five feet tall tsunami which swept away houses in the cities of Palu and Dongala. The death toll reached 384 as the area suffered power outage, leading to the grounding of communication networks. Disaster Agency spokesman Sutopo Purvo Nugroho said it has been difficult to gather more details as Sulawesi capital city Palu was plunged into darkness and its communication lines were snapped. He said houses were swept away and families were reported missing. Communications to the area were disrupted. All national potential will be deployed and tomorrow morning we will deploy Hercules and helicopters to provide assistance in tsunami affected areas, he said in a TV interview. The airport in Palo City is reported to be closed. The U.S. Geological Survey said the strongest quake had a magnitude of 7.5 and was centered at a depth of 6 miles 10 kilometers, about 35 miles, 56 kilometers, northeast of the central Sulawesi town of Dongala. It briefly triggered a tsunami warning. Now, before we close the headlines once again. Talk between state government and Manipur University community cancelled. Invitation will be sent again if community desires, says Chief Minister N. Biren. And government to observe birth anniversary of Hijam Mirabot from this year, asserts Chief Minister N. Biren. Well, that's all in the news at 2. We'll be back again with no more news at 4 p.m. See you then.